I'm not sure if technically this is considered San Luis Pass because I know that's where the road cuts through. They call that San Luis Pass. But once again, no signs, so I have no idea. Some different colors though. came over right there where that saddle goes behind the hill in front of it and we walked all the way around the pole and once again who the f is we Ugh. <laughs> apparently I'm just gonna say it forever so here you go I'm clearly by myself I'm gonna wait until I get further down see if I can get a better angle to this valley going off to the left I don't know what mountain that is, that one, but it is foreboding. It is all gray rock. You see at least here, there's a meadow on top. Over there, there's plenty of green. That is just broken rock and stone, cold and dark. <laughs> Might be able to see all the way down the valley by the time I get to the edge here. It looks like it stretches a ways back. Headed to the road. I'm not sure how much further I have, but it's not, not much more. Hopefully I can catch a hitch in the creed and then start looking for beer. Say it! One last quick thing is I seem, well depending on how you want to look at it, I seem to have timed my food just right because I ate my very last honey bun about three miles ago and I am completely out of food. I have eaten everything in my bag. The only thing I have left is like spices and some tea. I thought I had way, way too much food and apparently just enough. Yeah, I'm at the point where I have to pack so much food because I'm eating so much. It took me like 1,800 miles on the AT to get like that. And I've done it in three and a half weeks out here. So, and um, this last section has been way, way prettier than what was earlier when I was and moaning about the weather and the trail was muddy. Although there were a lot of parts that did remind me of like Vermont because they were rooty and rocky and muddy and parts of Virginia because of all the cows. All right, I'm out of here. See ya! Got back on the trail by like noon. Man, that walk sucked. It's two and a half miles. It's uphill the whole way. So I had to do basically an hour's worth of hiking just to get back on trail. But I mean, it is what it is. You got to get off for food. And um, Lake City was the next one up, 13 miles. And uh, you got to walk like four miles for that. So one way or the other, you're going to have to walk. So no biggie. The big thing today is getting over Snow Mesa because it is renowned for lightning. So all day long, it's just ups and downs. About the eight mile mark is when I hit Snow Mesa and it goes for about three and a half, four miles. I would love to get in 15 today, but with such a late start and the elevation, it's really gonna depend on the weather. Right now, the weather is fantastic. So. As long as the weather holds, I'm gonna try and push hard because if I can get 15 miles in today, that'll only leave me about 60 miles to get to uh, Silverton. And if I push hard, I might be able to get there uh, by Thursday evening, but I probably just camp outside the town and uh, go in early Friday. But we'll see. That's way in the future, a couple days. So I'll just worry about what I'm worrying about now, which is getting a snack and getting some water. Super cool water source is right here. Nothing better than that. Like it's literally coming right out of the ground. Couldn't be cleaner. Blue skies, big beautiful mountains, great place to take a break. Great view all the way around. I'm gonna get my munch on 
and uh, drink some water and then uh, keep going. All right. Sir! Second pass of the day. Day 29. Whew. Not a bad little climb. Not too high. I think, uh, I think this is uh, 11,800. So not too high. Came from up there. Okay. Looks like going back down again. All right. See ya. That is pretty cool. I think I can see where the trail's gonna go. Let's see if I can do this. Looks like it goes up that way and wraps around. This is impressive though. All right, see you. Day 29, about 4.30 in the afternoon. This is my fourth pass of the day. Once again, no name, and I'm not sure how high it is. What do you got for me? What are we looking at? All right, I find myself in a quandary again because now I'm up here at elevation and there's lightning right over there. So now I'm kind of stuck. I don't want to go back. Uh, there's blue sky ahead of me. So I'm just going to keep pushing and just keep an eye on it. If I have to, I can run down, I guess. That's kind of the deal that's kind of crappy about the weather here just don't know what you're gonna get and then sometimes it gets bad on you when you're way up here on a ridge line or something and then you got nowhere to go but forward so yeah so it's five o'clock I'm gonna give it another two hours and hopefully that'll be enough to get down off this ridge I think I'm gonna finally put this thing away for good but uh, time to put this thing away and uh, get some miles in all right see you. Well, this is unfortunate. I was really hoping to make more distance, but it looks like I'm gonna have to camp up about, I only got like nine and a half miles in, so I'm not happy with that, but um, that's not counting the three that I had to hike to get back to the trail. So I'm at 12 and a half miles, but this is why. Because trail's going right there and there has been lightning all over and this is the beginning of snow mesa which is infamous or famous however you want to say it for just being like a, a natural lightning rod and I've been watching it just strike over and over again so um, yeah unfortunately I'm just gonna have to uh, go down by this pond this is the only water source for like the next mile and a half and I don't think I can get that far without getting rained on and I'm gonna wimp out I'm gonna camp up so early day for me at least I get to eat sooner if I can find a good spot which I'm sure I will eventually so yeah all right well I'll probably uh, do another one of these once I get set up all right sir frustrated with my mileage because I got a really late start it took me till noon just to get back to the trail and then um, I took a break so I didn't really get started hiking until about 1 it's uh, 645 now I only made it nine and a half miles not counting the three that I had to hike to get to the trail so really it was 12 and a half I camped early because I thought I was gonna get smacked with a really bad storm uh, it had got cold it started uh, hailing briefly so I took the safe way out and I put up my tent 
and then the storm went right around me. So now I feel like a wimp, but uh, I've already gone through all the hassle of getting set up and filtering water and it's just too late to pack up and move any further. So it is what it is. First night out of town is always a good night, especially to finish early because last time I did like 25 out of town and I jacked myself up and I wasn't worth the, the next day. Tonight is all about uh, eating as much food as humanly possible. Get this pack lighter. Day 27 was Saturday. That was the day I went into Creed. Uh, I got into town about 1.30. I got lucky and got a room at the Snowshoe Motel. It's pretty hard to get a room there in Creed on the weekends. But I got a room for the first time. Uh, I got myself uh, a king size bed and uh, I enjoyed it. It was nice not having a share like I like hostels and all but sometimes you just want your own space so I love Creed I thought it was a really cool little town it's a big difference between uh, Creed on Saturday and Creed on Sunday like Creed on Sunday was a ghost town but it's a cool little place that had like a, a supermarket and um, this mercantile store and then there was four or five restaurants and a couple taverns I didn't see any bars like strictly bars they had a nice veterans park i spent so, a little time there that was nice overall it was a really cool little town i thought it was great the uh, the liquor store there was named uh, liquid ambitions which i thought was a great name for a liquor store and then sunday was just a regular zero i did laundry got my shopping out of the way got my packing out of the way and then um this morning i had arranged for a shuttle to take me back out at 10 uh, I would have loved to have left earlier, but I had to stop at the post office and get my box and get some stuff out of there, put some stuff back in, and then bounce it back up to Silverton. Much more expensive to do it that way, but uh, I don't really have a support team, and I don't really like bothering people with uh, having to mail me boxes and stuff like that. Today was really cool. Went over like five or six passes. It was a cool day. Like, it was a lot of climbing and going down for a... For a nine and a half mile day, it was a lot. So hopefully it gets better. I know segment 22 is going to start pretty soon. And that is supposed to be one of the most spectacular segments. 22 and 24 from what I have heard are uh, fantastic. So we'll see. All right. It's time for dinner and a little entertainment. See ya! Good morning. It's day 30. And... Um, this morning was the first morning where it's cold enough uh, where I have ice on the inside of my tent on the inside of my rain fly so um, last night I was taking pictures because the sky was very clear and the full moon was up and as I was taking pictures I noticed that I was getting really really cold really fast so um, for the first time I decided to um, sleep with my water filter inside my bag and I kept all my electronics in. It's definitely ice all over the inside of the tent. I don't know what temperature it is, but um, it's cold. So uh, I'm not gonna get out as early as I wanted to because I'm gonna have to wait for the sun to come up over the top of the rise and warm things up a little bit. It's just pretty cold. So yeah, I'm probably gonna stay in this bag until it warms up a little bit at least. Wimping out again. All right. See Day 30. 12.30, close to 10 miles in, heading towards the highest elevation. But right now, crossing pretty big mesa. And you can see the trail kind of go all the way up over the, the next mountain. So I can see exactly where I'm going. But look at those mountains. And look at all that snow. Lest we forget where I came from. Pretty sweet weather right now. Pretty happy. All right, gotta make some good time over these miles if I had this forgiving terrain and and nice weather. So, time to get on it. So, what's, what's going on? It's uh, day 30. It's uh, about 11:30 in the morning. And I've done about uh, seven and a half miles. Um, just started segment 22, about two and a half miles ago at the highway. 
Right now I'm taking a break because this is the only water according to the guide and gut hooks for like the next 15 miles. So that does not fill me with joy. I don't, you can't just dismiss it and just assume you're gonna find water because it's been so wet because there have been some dry sections where I went 12 miles without water. Um, but what makes this a little bit worse is the fact that uh, if I go far enough, so it'd be pretty close to the 20 mile mark, is the highest elevation point on the Colorado Trail. So, even worse than having to carry water is having to carry water uphill, which does not fill me with joy. So, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do. So, I'm taking a break right now. I'm cameling up, which basically just means I'm drinking as much water as I, can, I possibly can. I'm taking, eating a snack and then uh, trying not to get eaten by these bugs, but it's so rare you get a chance to get some sun on your skin that I like to dry out. That way I try to keep from getting prickly heat on my back. Yeah, it's real pretty, but I mean, you can see it's just a little tiny stream. Um, but hey, it's water. If I only knew that there was gonna be something like this in six miles. But uh, I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna pack out two liters and then every hour I'll just make myself drink a liter and at the very least uh, if I haven't drank most of my water by the time I get to the bottom of the biggest climb I'll just drink it all and then go over the top and get water on the other side which is what I normally do all right that's it for now day 30 still rolling Sir! not happy I uh, I got scared I had to put my tent up because I was gonna be sandwiched between this storm the storm behind me and the one right over here as soon as these things started blowing in it got cold and I mean it's probably it's probably like 45 right now and it's 1 30 in the afternoon and it was like 70 degrees 20 minutes ago and I gotta go up so now I feel like I wasted my time because I put my tent up trying to play it safe I was gonna take a break it started raining so I put up my tent for the first time ever in my life. I've never put up my tent in the middle of the day before to hide from a storm. But that one time I got scared up on the pass, it's really, it's really making me gun shy about going over these things in bad weather now. And now it looks like it's clearing up and you can't see over the other side of it anyway. So it could be horrible weather on the other side or it could be blue skies. I can't tell. I mean, it won't take me long to pack my tent back up, but it, it pisses me off because I thought for sure I was gonna get wet because I started getting rained on and it only looked like it was gonna get worse from there. So, ah, Colorado. Man, I've only gone 12 miles. It's another eight to the highest point. Do I really wanna try and go over the highest point on the Colorado Trail in weather? Oh. Man, it looked like it was gonna pour so hard. I think it still is, so. <sighs> I don't know, maybe I just don't like playing it safe. Just wish there was a better way to predict what these clouds were gonna do. You just don't know. Yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna sit tight for another 15, 20 minutes. See if the storm hits or not. If it doesn't, I'm gonna pack up. The other problem is there's no water either, so. <sighs> it's another eight miles up but the water's on the other side. So if I can't make it all the way, then I'd have to dry camp. <sighs> you know what, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna, just frustrated. So I'm gonna take a minute, take a break, maybe watch some ridiculousness on my phone. <sighs> Try and readjust my mental attitude and my fortitude. I quit being a chicken. All right. That's enough. Sir! Okay. Uh, in my tent. Um, just trying to not be so frustrated and just take things in stride. I obviously did not want to take a break at this time for this long, uh, especially not, you know, halfway up a climb because I can't, I just hate stopping during any climbs. But you know what? Sometimes things happen for a reason. I hate that euphemism, but. Um, I'm gonna try and make myself uh, see the sense of it. So, you know, maybe taking a longer break right now, uh, let me hike longer into the day and I'll feel fresher when I'm going up. I don't know. 
I mean, at least I'm safe from the bugs. I have water, I have food, I'm dry. So, you know, stop. Um, all right, I'm gonna take a break and uh, try and enjoy myself a little bit. All right. Sure. Well, it's uh, still day 30. I don't even know if you can hear this or not, but um, I'm not so mad at myself for tenting up now. Because if I was outside in this, I would be getting absolutely hammered. So, yeah, I'm dry and warm, and it is cold and wet outside. So, uh, while I'm frustrated at losing the hours and some miles, I'm warm and dry. So, I'm going to take it. Sometimes it works out. I was just about ready to pack up my tent and go. And it started getting ugly again. So, um... I'm just going to have to wait it out. Hopefully I won't be stuck here for the rest of the day because it's, it's only like 2.50, so it's not even 3 o'clock yet, so it would be an early day. All right. Sir! Okay, day 30 again. Looking ahead, that is what we're going up on. And uh, I'm about four and a half miles from the highest point, which is also going to be right around 20 miles for me. still have about a liter of water I was gonna drink it at the bottom of this climb. I don't know, now I might hang on to it. Cause if I get stuck up on top of that ridge with no water, I'm gonna have to dry camp. Decisions, decisions. I'm gonna take a bottom, or a break at the bottom of this. Uh, anyways, not a long one. I got good weather. It's five in the afternoon. I got four and a half miles to the high point. It's all pretty much up. But once I get to there, and it's going to be down so the question is how much energy am I going to have in my legs uh, once I'm done with this climb because I'll be at about 20 now the good news is that break that I took the weather break where I hit out from the storm uh, did seem to recharge me quite a bit so I'm feeling pretty strong but I'm feeling pretty strong now because I'm at about 15 miles so We'll see how I feel after this climb. Just wanted to show what I was hiking through. This place is pretty wild. All right, time to make some miles. Sure. Not much to say about this, other than it's pretty spectacular. I'm on top of a little saddle right now, and I'm panning around slow, hopefully so you guys can get a good view. I know normally when I do these swings, it can be a little fast. These, it seems like I'm taking plenty of time when I do it, but every time I watch it, I'm like, oh man, that was quick. So here we go, panning around to the other side of the saddle, and this thing just drops off. But boy, what a view. I'm not sure what body of water that is right there, but... And you even have the orange rocks over here catching some of the sun and all of that beautiful blue sky back there. And finally coming all the way back around. It's a pretty cool little bowl. I bet you if I went down in there I could find water. But I think I'm going to drink half of what I have left and then I believe So, fun, fun, fun. All right. See ya. Not sure how long this is gonna last uh, because my phone is at 2%, but got to the uh, the high point, and fittingly enough, it's, uh, it's hailing. Or sleeting, whatever you wanna call it. All I know is now it's uh, supposed to be a steep descent down a Jeep road. I managed to find some water 
coming right out of the side of the mountain. So um, I am looking for the first place to camp. I got to be honest. So, all right, made it though. Got my 20, got to the high. All right, good evening. Day 30, it is uh, almost eight o'clock. It's a much longer day than I had planned, at least uh, just hour wise. I normally like to get into camp by 6, 6.30, but um, didn't have much choice. Uh, went over the high point, then had to come down. There was just no camping. So right now I am at, at Carson Saddle Historic Mining Area. About 40 feet to my left is an old abandoned uh, broke down cabin. I'll probably take pictures of that in the morning. Um, it's already starting to get cold and the light is fading. So I gotta start my dinner, but Exciting day, long day, uh, eventful day, lots going on, like got an early start, took a nice break at the uh, the roadway, got water at like another seven and a half miles in and then had like a 12 mile dry stretch. Went over the highest elevation, it was just climb, climb, climb. So no surprises there, you would expect that when you're going up to the highest point on the trail, but um, it just seemed like it took forever. And after taking that weather break and dodging that storm, I caught a little bit of hail right at the highest point, but like miraculously, every storm just slipped right by me. I did shoot a video where I, the rain couldn't have been more than, I don't know, 200 yards away, and it was pouring, but the, um, the wind was like blowing it away from me, so I uh, got lucky there. And then ended up doing 22.8, which is, you know, out of my sweet spot a little bit. But um, kind of makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, I haven't even looked at the book to see. I mean, I don't really care what's what's coming next. I mean, I have to go over it. So um, 22 and 10 is 32. So I probably have uh, 40, 42, 43 miles to go until I get to Silverton. So there's no reason I shouldn't either be able to do... Um, like two 18s and then just camp close to town or um, really get after it tomorrow and then uh, possibly get into town Friday night. We'll see. Uh, everything depends on how I feel. So right now the sun's going down, um, so I'm going to get started on dinner. All right? But it was a great day. Day 30 was eventful. All right. See ya! This whole hike, as I've run into people who've already done the Colorado Trail, they've been telling me that segment 22 is something else. And I gotta say, they're right. Never gonna find anything like this on the AT, that's for sure. I haven't done the PCT yet. I've been to Yosemite. I've been all through the Sierras. Been to the Cascades. This, <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow, man, how do you even take it all in? Hey there, day 31, taking a break. Uh, it's about noon, I've gone uh, 9.1 miles. So, you know, it's nice to get uh, 10 miles in by noon, but yeah, I got a late start this morning and then uh, I've been taking a lot of breaks. It's been so pretty. Took my first fall, coming down the other side of the last ridge. There were two older fellas uh, coming up the trail. So I moved to the side to let them pass and I slipped in the mud. And instead of just going down on my butt, I tried to save it and uh, snap my trek and pull off. Snapped about the last six inches off. Not a complete disaster. I extended it as far as I could. It's still like uh, three inches shorter than the other one, so it's annoying going up hills, but uh, you know, it is what it is. 
Hopefully when I get to Silverton, they have a Walmart and I get another set for $9. Nine miles in, be nice to get another 11. Oh, check out this little brook. Super cool. Practically bubbling right out of the side of the mountain, so loving that. All right, see ya! Third pass of the day, day 31, about 12.30. Fourth pass of the day, day 31. It's about 1.15. It should be close to the top of Stony Pass. That's the sixth pass of the day. Uh, I feel really good. Just took a long, long break. Seems to work well, so. Sorry, I'm still breathing like a Clydesdale. It might look fairly serene, but still at about 12,600 feet, something like that. So still pretty far up there. It's not that the terrain is that difficult, but even when the trail is easy, keeping your breath is uh, not always so easy. Even though I feel like I'm really used to it now, and the altitude doesn't really give me any issues, it's been a while since I saw sparkles at elevation, which was, it was a little unsettling, but Got past it. Whew. When we get to this next cairn, I'm gonna stop and uh, do a 360 and pan around before I forget. Wow. I don't know if that has a name, but that's impressive. I gotta tell you, day 31 has certainly been pretty spectacular. So, all right, that's enough. Time to get hiking. So, as if all day today hasn't been absolutely gorgeous. Now, so many wildflowers, and just views for days, views for days and days and days. It makes you really want to just keep hiking. Man, I just want to see what's around the next corner. What's over the next hill. This hike has been something else. I will remember this forever. Man, check that out. It's hard to see because of the sun, I know.
There's a lot of places in this last segment that could pass for parts of Capitol Reef. There's been quite a few parts that reminded me of Utah. Well, time to get back on it. It's about 4.30. So I'm hoping if I can put in another two good hours, maybe three. I don't know. We'll see. But feeling good, feeling strong. So that, that afternoon break's doing its job. All right. See ya. Still day 31, seventh pass of the day. Doesn't have a name, about 4.45. Now typically, I wouldn't be very excited about all that snow, but we haven't had to hike over much of it. And it almost guarantees there's gonna be water everywhere. So I don't have to pack any. And I like that very much. Man, all day long, it's just been spectacular. All right, so this is the, if I'm not mistaken, eighth pass of the day. All right, so it's not quite the top. It's about 5.45. And I'm sitting right at about, right about 20 miles right now. Right at the top of this rise was 20 for me. So I've done what I wanted to do. So now it's just a matter of trying to find a, a good place to camp and uh, water so we'll see um, if I can make pretty good time coming down though there's two water sources on the back side of this and I'm hoping that there's gonna be a good campsite I'm guessing it'd probably be a little chilly up here so I'd like to camp a little lower let's see what's over here to the side All right, well, I'll turn this thing back on when I get to the top of this, if there's a good view. All right, sign up! 